Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Arivik, the founder of Channel Group. In this video, I'm going to share with you red flags that you should watch out when you're looking for a new supplier on Alibaba.com. Choosing the right supplier is a very crucial step, which can either make or break your business. However, it's not always easy to find the right supplier in China, especially on a B2B platform such as Alibaba.com. To avoid any potential headaches and losses, you should watch out for these red flags when you're choosing your next new Chinese supplier. The first clear red flag that you should watch out is the supplier's lack of interest. A Chinese supplier who is very slow to respond or avoids to give you clear and detailed information about the product, about their lead time, about their prices, about their quality control procedures, in-house procedures, is clearly a red flag and it signals that they have very little interest in acquiring you as their client. Although this kind of supplier will keep in touch with you, keep communicating with you and will give you the answers, however, you will still feel like they have very little interest in acquiring you as a client. They will be doing bare minimum to just keep you interested and keep you communicating with them. This kind of behavior from the supplier side can be triggered by the two things. The first thing is that they probably have reached their operation capacity, which means that they simply don't have enough workforce to handle all the uh, orders that they have and the, all the inquiries that they are receiving. The second reason why they might be showing you a lack of interest is maybe because your order size is uh, relatively little for them. Therefore, they won't be making too much effort, hence you will be feeling a lack of interest from their side. The second red flag is an excessive interest from the supplier's side. Excessive interest from the supplier's side can be as suspicious as a lack of interest. If the new Chinese supplier is showing you too much interest in acquiring you as a client without even fully understanding your business and asking you related questions, this is a red flag that you should watch out. Again, this kind of behavior can be triggered by two reasons. The first reason is because maybe this supplier is newly established and they are simply just starting out and building their client base. And the second reason that can trigger this kind of excessive interest in acquiring you as a client is not very pleasant actually. This can indicate that this supplier is probably have been in business for a while. However, because of their uh, bad business behavior, they have lost all of their stable clients and right now are kind of like a ship sinking business state and they are looking for new clients and try to stay on water. Either way, you don't want to be boarding this kind of a sinking ship business. Trust me, it's not a very pleasant travel unless you're a big fan of a Titanic style ending. The third red flag that you should watch out when you're looking for your new Chinese supplier is unrealistically low prices. While you might be tempted to choose the supplier who offers the best price possible, the lowest price offered to you. However, if it's too good to be true, then it probably is. This kind of suppliers might cut corners on safety, quality and ethical standards just to cut the cost. Trust me, this kind of supplier will upsell you later on anyway, and you will end up paying double price for a very low quality product. The red flag number four is inconsistent product quality. If the supplier's sample is of poor quality or simply doesn't match their advertised specifications, then it's a red flag that their actual production batch won't meet your quality standards either. Don't expect that you will work on their sample, communicate with them, improve the sample, and later on they will produce the goods better than their sample. No, it simply doesn't work like that. 
Additionally, if the product quality varies from one batch to another, it is a clear sign of inconsistent and untrustworthy manufacturing processes. This possesses a significant risks to your end users and to your final product quality and may affect your user satisfaction rate and your overall brand reputation. Now we're slowly moving to our red flag number five, which is lack of transparency. A supplier who refuses to give their previous customers references or to provide you with their product samples for you to test and use is a clear red flag that this supplier is hiding their poor track record or their lack of experience. Additionally, a supplier who doesn't allow a factory visit or doesn't allow a third-party quality control inspector to come and check their product quality is also a very big red flag. Red flag number six is when a supplier asks you too many questions. If the supplier from the very beginning starts to ask you too many questions to the point of annoyance and consuming too much of your time and you start to be suspicious of whether or not they are actually professionals in this field, then in this kind of case, trust your God. This is indeed a red flag. If the Chinese supplier is asking you upfront to fill in some documents, provide you detailed information of your business, provide with your email address, with the companies that you previously cooperated with, with your expected mm, volume orders, etc. This definitely should rise your concern. While in other countries it's a common practice, in China it's a red flag. These kind of questions are asked during your initial communication with the supplier. However, it should never be a starting point for your communication. The red flag number seven is when the supplier asks you too many export-related questions. While it is normal for the supplier to ask you on how you plan to export goods regarding logistics, it's not normal when they start to ask you export-related questions regarding documents and the procedure. Think twice before you cooperate with such supplier, especially if you are new to this yourself. The red flag number eight is payment abnormalities. Be aware of the suppliers who use abnormal payment methods. For example, they ask you to do the upfront wire transfer, or you realize that something is wrong with their bank account details, or they ask you to do the transfer through a third party payment agent. These might be scams or simply signal the company's lack of financial stability. These days, some Chinese suppliers may request payments to their bank accounts in Singapore or Hong Kong due to various reasons actually, such as ease of use, currency exchange rates, or tax purposes. However, it's also important to verify the legitimacy of the supplier and actually request them for their China mainland business license and request their China mainland registered bank account details. Even if you will end up transferring their Hong Kong bank account, you still need to keep the record of their China mainland bank account details as well. Also make sure that the bank account is registered on the same company name in China and in Hong Kong. And always remember, when you do the direct wire transfer to the Chinese supplier, sign a contract and in the contract, specify the actual bank account details of the supplier to which you transfer your money. The red flag number nine is when the supplier is not oriented for export. The suppliers who are not oriented towards export can be difficult to deal with in the long run. One clear sign that the supplier is not oriented toward export is that they only respond to your messages within China business hours. 
In contrast, the Chinese suppliers who are oriented towards exporting their goods to North and South America, working at least until 10 p.m. Beijing time, or sometimes even working night shifts for your convenience. As I already mentioned, cooperating with such Chinese supplier can be a headache for you in the long run. And one more reason for this is that they don't have an English speaking representative in their team. And in case you would need to explain to your Chinese supplier more complicated things than just hi and buy, you would definitely face some difficulties and misunderstandings. The red flag number 10 is when the supplier's communication tone changes once you place an order. This is a common issue with the Chinese suppliers. They are quick to respond and very useful in the initial stages of the communication and before you place your order. However, once you place your first order, the communication tone changes. Suddenly, even the smallest issues take longer to solve and it takes them days or sometimes even weeks to get back to you with an answer. Unfortunately, this red flag is only discoverable once you place your first order. Therefore, I always suggest my clients to start cooperation with the new Chinese supplier by placing first order in a small quantity. And in case this kind of situation takes place, you can always consider to place your second order with another Chinese supplier. Well, that's it for today's video. Thank you for sticking with me till the end. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Click that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.